Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. 
But as one true name is Jehoshaphat, I would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashi Mashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. Shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad. Put your forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as Temptation. Be prepared for temptation when it comes your way. All right. Be prepared for temptation when it comes your way. You know, we I have done lessons previously, you know, saying that, you know, we go through different things and temptation, but it can also come upon you at camp. All right. And, um, you know, in this video, you know, to Elder Manata Zagba of GMS, he did a perfect uh, example on how to be in the truth. All right. Notice he didn't put his hands on the individual. He didn't do any of that. He stayed in the spirit. You know, that's temptation, you know, because you got average Jake's out here that immediately just, you know, take off on an individual. But the Lord kept him in the, in the right mind and the right spirit. He told the Jake to back up, get out of his face. All right. And then, you know, next, you know, the, 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 the police came and, and escorted the brother off of off of off of uh off of the elders you know off the elder and the brother but you know this is a perfect example you know what i got out of the out of the video that elder manata zagba shared is that we got to stay in the spirit because this can happen to any one of us individually including us you know and um you know we're not in gms but you know we're under the banner of great millstone so you know the way how elder manata zagba um you know handled the situation was very spiritual all right, and that's how you know, man. The great millstone are the men that you are to follow because they they carry themselves as men. All right, and one thing is this, man. You know, like 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 the elders and brothers say, you know, long as that Jake does not touch you, actually put his hands on you. All right, don't don't automatically go into the altercation of, of fighting somebody. All right, now the moment that Jake put his hands on you, he touched you. By all means, we have the right to defend ourselves. You know. That man, and this is the thing, you know, you niggas out there, just because you got muscles and you got, you know, you looking shredded. I don't know if this dude is shredded or not. He like he got a, he got a couple of pounds of muscle, but that doesn't mean shit. You niggas think because you got your shirt off that that's intimidating somebody. Look, we don't give a fuck about your muscles. We don't give a fuck about how much you lifting, how much you squatting. We don't give a fuck about that. All right, because at the end of the day, we know that the Lord Yahweh Bashimasha is with us, and at the end of the day. If, if we got to do what we got to do to defend ourselves, we will do that. But we will do it, all right, according to righteousness in the right state spiritually, all right? We're not going to be quick to go out here and go and get into a fight with any Jake that we see that's doing this. Now, the elder told the brother, the dude, to back up. The, the dude, he didn't back up until the police came. But if, if he would have put his hands, you know, on him, you know, we don't want it to go that way. That's why we always pray the Lord for that because we don't want to we don't want to be doing this you know uh fighting and you know presenting ourselves bad on the camera you know and that's a perfect example how elder manata zagba handled it you know he stayed in the spirit and that's how we got to be you know and i was reading the brother's comment on this video and he said it he said this is a perfect example brothers when you're dealing with this situation you have to stay in the spirit don't just get up and just get into a fight because an individual is in your face you told the individual back up if he continues to get in your face, let him. If in the moment he put his hands on you, though, you have the right to defend yourself. I'm not saying go out here and just start randomly punching people. But in this situation, he is too close. All right? He is too close. All right? And this is the thing that we got to... This is the thing that we're saying to you fucking niggas out here, man. Just because you got muscles. It, it don't matter about that. We don't give a fuck about your muscles, man. We don't care about that. And he think just because he had muscles and he had his shirt off, it's fucking cold, it's raining now, you got no fucking shirt on, clearly shows us that your ass is bugged out, alright? And we're gonna get some scriptures out on that. And this is Romans 8 and 5. <clears throat> Romans chapter 8 verse 5, it says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit do mind the things of the spirit. Right, we gotta be spiritually minded out here. Cause we got lots of people that tune in to the to the to the videos, you know, tune in to the to the chat to our channels. So we gotta be a perfect example, as the scriptures say, you know, be that an example to the believers. All right, and the way Elder Manata Zagba carried himself was very spiritual. All right, and that's the way we gotta be. You know, he's a perfect example. The Lord used him as an example for us, a reminder for us on how we are to be in his truth, man. And that's how you gotta be. You can't just get quickly to, you know, just up up and just start fighting now because he in your face. He didn't touch you, you know? 
So as long as he don't actually touch you, you know, you, you, you know, by all means, stay in the spirit, you know. But we don't give a fuck about you dudes because you got your shirt off and you got a little bit of arms. We don't care about that. And these dicks just think, oh, I can punk these these guys. These guys say they men of the Lord. I can punk them. We don't give a fuck about any of that. You better be careful for your own safety, you know. Because at the end of the day, you know, you you think because you're coming up to somebody and we're feeling threatened and we're telling you to back up. We're, we're worried about your safety, all right? Not our safety because the Lord Yahweh Bashimashah is with us. When I'm not saying we're going to use guns. We're not using none of that. But I'm saying you want to worry about your own safety. Because we we, we we know our safety. We know we have the Lord Yahweh Bashimashah with us, man. All right? So we ain't worried about uh, uh, any of that. That's why to prevent all of that, we stay in the spirit like the elders, Apostle Great Millstone instruct us to be. We stay spiritual, man. That's why we say you need to worry about your own safety because the Lord can send a death angel after you niggas. You can get smited, man. This is uh, Romans 8 and 6. It says, for to be carnally minded is death. Right? If you carnal out here, death is headed your way. The Lord can kill your ass, man. According to the scriptures of what? Uh, I think it's uh, 2, 2 Samuel 2 and 6 or 1 Samuel 2 and 6. All right? The Lord killeth and he maketh it alive. Deuteronomy uh, 32 and 39. All right? Isaiah uh, 45, 5 through 7. So the Lord is in power. The Lord is in control of, uh, of death, man. The Lord can kill you, man. The Lord is in power of good and evil, right? It says, but, the, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You got to be spiritual in this truth. You got to be spiritually minded in this truth. You can't be quick to, to fight, you know, quick to be carnal. You got to be in the spirit, man. Yeah, we get carnal. Yeah, we we, we say things in our, in our emotions. But, hey, you want to candle your emotions, um, you know, and, and swallow them emotions down and be in the right mind. Like Elder Manazza Zagba, the way he handled that situation is a beautiful example for us of how we had to be. He let the police handle it. He, you know, he, he didn't call for the police. They just came. You know, they just came on bikes. They came over there, you know, and they resolved the situation. You know, and that's how we got to be, man. Don't be quick to punch an individual or anything like that. You know, the moment he put his hands on you, though, he, you by all means, you have the right to defend yourself, man. You know, and this is just a ex perfect example in this in this in this in this video that I watched of Elder Mount Zakban and Thawadi Halbashi Mashai for sharing that video with me because you know I watched that whole thing and you know Elder Mount Zakban he didn't bulk, he didn't but he didn't back down at all and that's a perfect example we got to be you know not back down at all we have by all means continue continually teach man continually do the works of the Lord man don't let no one intimidate you man you know. Now, I'm not saying fight, but I'm saying by all means, let no one intimidate you, man. Nobody, because you're doing the works of the Lord. You know, these these wicked spirits is, is, is really increasing amongst the earth, man, amongst the prophets. This is Romans 8 and 7. It says, because the carnal mind is amity against Yahweh Bashim Yashim, for it is not subjected unto the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. Right, because if you carnally minded, you hate the Lord. You're against the Lord, man. And that dude that came up to Elder Manat Zagba, you know, he came up to him being macho, thinking you're doing something because you got your chest all out. You're standing out. I'm sure out there it's cold as fuck. It's like probably 50 degrees out there. And you in the rain at 50 degrees with no damn shirt on clearly means you bugged out. You already fucking bugged out. And you thinking just because you on camera and you trying to intimidate somebody because you macho. That don't mean shit. If you ain't got your how about she my shy, you, you niggas do not fear us, man. All right. You niggas in this society, you simple ass niggas do not fear, fear us, man. We're not afraid of you niggas, man. All right? We have your how about Shima Shai with us, man. You should be the one that should be afraid because the Lord going to fucking kill you niggas. Like, just like what Elder Manazak like about said in the video, Lord's going to fucking kill you niggas, man. Because you, you think you big and bold because you got muscles. That shit don't mean nothing, bro. You won't give a fuck about your little 18-inch arms. We give a fuck about that, man. That don't scare nobody. Romans 8 and 8. It says, so then they that are in... The flesh cannot please the most high. That dude is carnal. He got spirits. He got demons on him, man. He had demons on him. You standing in the rain. It's fucking cold as fuck. And you got no damn shirt on. The fuck you doing, bro? You just bugged out. And you got in his face twice. Why are you doing that? Attention seekers. And guess what? You're going to have an attention nuke headed your way. You're going to be destroyed, man. You know? Romans 8 and 9. It says, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of Yahweh Bashimashai dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Yahweh Shai, he is none of his. And that dude is none of Yahweh Shai. All right, he's a fucking bugged out ass demon that's going to be destroyed. You be a macho, and that shit is not going to save your ass. That damn macho, Randy Savage shit, no shirt on, walking outside, it's fucking cold as fuck, and you got no fucking shirt on. You're going to be destroyed, bro. You fucking bugged out. Verse 10, it says, and if Christ be in you, 
It says the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness, right? And those that know how the spirit of Yahweh shines, none of it is. Lord ain't dealing with you, all right? But the main thing is that you want to stay spiritual, man. We got to stay spiritual when we out there, man, because we got we got uh, sheep that are watching, all right? And however you present yourself on camera, they going to feel that it's okay for them to behave that way. But the main thing in the video is what I'm getting out of the whole thing is you got to stay spiritual. We cannot let our emotions get the best of us. But we do have the right to defend ourselves, though. All right? Galatians 5 and 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit. See, we got to be spiritual. No matter how bad the situation can get, stay in the spirit. Unless he put his hands on you. That's what I'm saying. Unless that individual put his hands on you, man. It says, this I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Right? So you got to be spiritual. Verse 17, for the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. It says, and these, it says, and these are contrary the one to the other. Now, word contrary means opposite to, okay? It says, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. So, right, you want to be spiritual in, the, in this truth. When you come into the truth, you got to be spiritual. You can't be quick to fight. You can't be quick to do any of that. You got to stay in the spirit. You got to be spiritual, all right? If the individual did not actually put his hands on you, he didn't touch you, he didn't put his hands on you. I'm talking about actually putting his hands on you. Pointing his finger at tapping on your chest. That's putting his hands on you. All right. Or putting his finger towards your face. Like literally touching you with his finger and, and, and pressing it against your head. That's actually touching you. So you have a right to defend yourself. But if he ain't doing any of that, he's in your space. You tell him to back up and he refusing to back off. That's fine. As long as he don't touch you, you good. He touches you by all means. We have a right to defend ourselves. But through all that, we're trying to avoid conflict and we're trying to stay on a spiritual level and teaching the truth, man. Don't let no one run you off your off your corner of teaching because we're, you know, you are doing the will of the Lord unless it gets really out of control. But in that situation like that, don't let no individual try to intimidate you, brothers, because he got muscle. That don't mean shit. We don't give a fuck about that, man. That intimidation shit is old. All right. That intimidation shit is old. This is Galatians 5 and 19. It says, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, strife, uh, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, meaning lies. Verse 21, envying, murderers, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of, it says, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in the time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So those are the things of the flesh. And if you're doing those things, you're not going to be, you're not going to receive the kingdom of heaven if you don't repent. All right. Verse 22. But the fruit of the spirit is what? Love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith. And that's how you want to be. All right. So like it. So going to the main point. Verse 25. And this is the main thing when you out there, when you out there teaching, you out there on camp, you out there on the highways and byways. This is what you to do. Galatians 5 and 25. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. So you got to be spiritual minded in this thing. You got to be spiritually minded. You got to be spiritual out here. You can't be going out here quick to be turned up to quick to punch somebody. If they ain't did nothing to you, they ain't actually put their hands on you. They ain't actually touch you. Then you don't, you don't put they put your hands on them, man. You just tell them and constantly tell them back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. They can get in your face all they want. They can get in your face all they want. Say, do something, do this, do that. That's all chat. Just don't fucking touch me. Simple as it goes. Don't touch a particular individual. Because if you touch a particular individual, now by all means, they have the right to defend themselves. And this dude thinking he macho, he doing something, but he ain't doing shit. Because the scriptures tells us this. Let's see what the scriptures also say. And I should have got this precept out too. Um, um, let me see if I can get them. Get that precept out if it'll let me. Um, let me lock it. Let's lock it. Can't think of it off the top of the head. Let me see if I can get it. Alrighty. Yep, so like it. This is Matthew. Um, it's perfect. Matthew 10 and 28. It says, and fear not them which kill the body. Right, because anybody can kill the body. All right, the Lord said, fear not them which kill the body. So a nigga that got muscles like that damn dude, he ain't even buff. But I'm just saying, he got a nice little built. 
And just because he fucking built like that, don't let a nigga in, don't let any dumb, don't let no wicked Jake pump fear in you, man. All right? This is what the scripture says. This is what Yahushai said. Matthew 10 and 28. It says, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. So any dude can kill the body. Any dude can kill this body. That body I got. Any Jake can kill this body, but he can't kill the soul, man. All right? It says, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both body and soul in hell. And where hell is in the condition that we're living in right now. And the lawyer, how about Shemashai, he can, he can kill the body and the soul. So these wicked ass niggas that's doing this shit, you thinking because you got muscles and you're in the elder's face that you can do this, you can do that. By all means, yeah, you can kill the body. But hey, hey, at the end of the day, we don't fear you because you can't kill the you can't kill the body and the soul. You can kill the body, but you can't kill the body and the soul. We fear you. How about you, my shy? We don't fear you, bitch ass niggas, man. And excuse my French, you you wicked ass niggas, man. All right, we don't you dudes don't you jakes don't fear us, man. All right, you don't fear us, man. All right, we fear the Lord. We fear you. How about you, my shy? We don't fear you, wicked niggas, because the Lord gonna deal with you, wicked niggas, man. The Lord is going to deal with you wicked niggas, man. All right? And by you getting in the elder's face, that didn't show nothing. That just just call these shoes that you ain't about shit. You just about attention. You attention seeker. And the Lord going to deal with you, nigga, if you don't repent. The Lord going to deal with you, you simple ass jakes, man. He going to deal with you niggas, man. He going to destroy you niggas. Let me get that word. Uh, let me get that other precept. Uh, uh, let me see if I can get that precept out. Salakia. Um... Uh, here it is right here. Yep. Because this is what's coming to you, wicked Jakes. This is Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh Bashimasha is not mocked for whatsoever a man sow if he should also reap. So all that getting in, 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 in the elder's face, you, you didn't do nothing by doing that. You angered the Lord. So what? Wherever you sow it, it's coming your way. You're going to reap that shit, man. You Jakes are going to reap that shit, man. So hey, by you getting in Elder Manazak by face, you didn't do shit. All right, you didn't do shit. He still was there teaching. He still was doing the work of the Lord. All right, and your ass got escorted and you got scared and you start walking down the goddamn street. So at the end of the day, keep it moving. Keep it moving, man. The men of the Lord are going to continue to teach. Y'all Jakes ain't stopping shit. All right, and you can come out there with your muscle flexion and all that. Don't give a fuck about that. That doesn't scare us. Just because you got muscle, that don't mean shit. And we don't give a fuck about that, man. We're going to keep teaching. All right, we're going to keep teaching. The men of the Lord going to keep teaching. They're going to keep doing the will. But, you know, I found this video very edifying. You know, Elder Manat Zagba, giving, for, giving praises to you. How about she might shine? The water for that video. Because that, that also, you know, just by watching that video, also reminded me to let me know when I'm out there, we might deal with this uh, uh, situation. Any brother in the truth might deal with this situation. This is a perfect example on how to be when, we, when we're out there, man. All right, we want to stay in the spirit. We're trying to avoid conflict. Adam and Zagba did a perfect example in this video. All right, and it's basically showing us and let us know that this type of temptation can come our way as well. And we always want to be in the spirit and always want to be on the right track through the will of the gospel. Yahweh Bashimashai. So, Lord Wonders, that's edifying. You know, I really found this video very edifying through water. Yahweh Bashimashai for this video. And I had to do, you know, do a lesson on this because this really touched my spirit. Because Elder Manatha Zagba, even though he went through all that, he still stayed in the spirit and he still continually teach. He didn't let nothing ruin the gospel. And that's a good, that's that's a perfect example of how to be in the truth, man. You know, that was a perfect example of how to be in the truth. So I want to give all honors and glories and praise to Yahweh by Shema Shai, by Shema Kakudash, and double honors to the elders of Paul's Great Millstone. So yeah, for the heads up, brothers, just like what the brother said in the comment that's in GMS, this is a perfect example of how to be, all right? But be prepared for this to come your way because it might come your way. But you always want to stay in the spirit. You don't want to uh, not be in the spirit. But again, if the individual touches you, you by all means, we do have the right to defend ourselves. But in this case, he's just in the face. He didn't really touch anybody. He didn't put his hands on nobody. He didn't put his hands on nobody's neck. He didn't do any of that. But hey, be prepared for this to come. So you want to be, you know, always spiritual and in the right spirit. Call upon the name of the Lord. Yahweh, Bashi, Mashiach. So Lord, one is that's what's edifying. Till next time we say, Shalom.